the common denominator to everything that we do is education. Without the introduction of new ideas and new education, just new pieces to the segment, nothing's going to change. I'm Lida Garcia, Assistant Professor of Meat Science at The Ohio State University, based out of Columbus, Ohio. With my training of 11 years of college um, in, in, in the meat world, I choose to work more with the educational piece of understanding meat science, the fundamentals of meat science, the process side, because we're going to constantly evolve, we're going to constantly advance. A lot of our industries need this bit of knowledge to understand where we are, where we're headed, what works, what doesn't work. So I have the ability to share this up-to-date knowledge that my colleagues and I have discovered. And when I teach, I'm, I concentrate on undergraduate students who are in the Department of Animal Sciences, but as well extend my teaching component to our beef producers in the state of Ohio. Melita's outreach, uh, I think, is, is important for impacting how the beef industry and beef producers produce a product that uh, people want. I learned from Dr. Garcia uh, a couple important things about meat grading and, and meat quality control that uh, I've started to implement. And uh, I see Lida as an excellent source of information for, for uh, education in the future here on the farm. I do know that our beef producers do care about their the quality of that product only in just simply using our extension programs, for example. They are reaching out to us and Ohio Beef Council for these types of programs. In addition to that, we are receiving a lot of calls from our, from our producers uh, asking the right questions on what to do to advance or better their practices. Because how that animal is treated, how it's handled, it will have everything to do with that end product, which includes meat quality. And that opens up the door for improvement, for advancement, and it's not just for their production system, it's also for the future of their family businesses, their kids, and so forth. My customers are my, my lifeblood of, uh, of this operation. The only way that we're going to be able to, to survive to another generation is to adapt to providing a product that people will enjoy and will want to consume. I am a customer. I am one of their clientels. I actually, and it matters to me, when I have to remove my hard hat or remove my, my professor hat and now I am, a, I am one of their consumers, it's important to me that I am at the forefront of what they do. And so again, sharing our information, sharing our practices, it's a win-win situation for the animal, for the producer, and for the people, our customers who buy the product. It's a win-win.